San Diego City Council unanimously approved two ordinances this week aimed at protecting people's privacy from surveillance technology, including smart street lights that were once being used around the city. One measure regulates the city's use, acquisition and funding for that kind of technology. The other establishes a privacy advisory board to oversee practices. The Trust SD Coalition helped write those ordinances and joining us today, Hamayar Yusufi with Trust SD to talk about this and this win for you guys. First of all, welcome. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So these ordinances go a long way toward transparency, accountability, but what concerns do you still have? Yeah, I mean, we're really excited about the this um, both of the ordinances being passed unanimously. Our coalition really came together um, in response to the smart street lights that were being deployed all over San Diego, where thousands of these cameras were installed on our street lights, um, where all of the information was owned by a private company, um, and that we didn't even know that they were out and about right that they were happening for years and so our coalition came together saying that you know we really need to look at the big picture here um this is not the only time where surveillance technology has been deployed in our community with no transparency with no public input about how this will affect our lives how it will affect our privacy um, as san diegans and you know what are the implications what are the unintended consequences of surveillance technologies um, we've seen in the past that um, the San Diego Police Department has shared information with Border Patrol or Immigration Enforcement um, in a time where, you know, the administration was severely um, separating families. And so this, these ordinances are a response to that, to have a transparent and public a process that is accountable for how we acquire surveillance technology, but also um, how we continue to use them in the city of San Diego. Well, Myra, what are your thoughts on the other side of this argument that some would say is the positive side, that these can help to prevent crimes or to solve crimes? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I think that, that what these ordinances do is they're not looking at one specific technology. It's talking about the processes, the democratic processes that we really need to have in place um, for how we analyze if these technologies are good for San Diego or not right and making sure that communities who have been um, historically disproportionately um, surveilled and impacted by these technologies are part of that process where they get to have their voices heard right um, and I think a lot of San Diegans no matter who they are really do care about things like third party entities right these ma that are collecting mass data about our lives um, and are really not governable right so how do we um, make sure that we have processes in place where our privacy rights are part of that conversation. As you know, the police chief had some concerns saying that victim mm -hmm. advocacy groups and law enforcement didn't really have much input in writing these ordinances. What do you say to that? The Trust Coalition actually um, did have a conversation with the police department about specifically the smart street lights in the beginning. Um, and, you know, I think my response would really be that, um, you know, public safety is important. It's one part of the conversation, an uh, important one, um, but there needs to be a broader conversation as well that happens um, about what those implications are of those things. Hamara Yusufi with SD Trust Coalition. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you uh, filling us in and letting us know some of your thoughts on this. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for having me.